Hey, Yetta, do you know why friendships are like books? Because you don't have to read them all and you can pick the best. Yes. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. And so we're honored to be able to have come alongside you for over 30 years, not only helping selling and buying and investing in real estate over 3,000 117 times, but coming alongside you to build your fun, build your faith, build your finances, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside your relationships. Really, 30 years of building your life, your home, and your business. Mm. That's pretty cool, huh? Very good. And so what we're going to discover in this episode is how do we decide or do we decide Who do we decide that we will spend less or more time with? Like, we're not going to stop the relationship. We're not going to start a new relationship right now. We're just going to decide, do we spend, well, maybe we spend the same amount of time with somebody as we've been spending, Mm -hmm. or are we going to spend less time, or are we going to spend more time? Yeah, setting a vision for what you want. Yeah, and why do you want to set, that's a great point, Mr. Decker, Sir Decker, actually, why do you want to set a vision? I think the why has to be answered here. Because when you live intentionally with those that you spend time with, right? It's kind of like who's the who's in your whoville. You used to say life was a destination. Then you said, no, it's not the destination. It's the journey. And then you discovered. It's who's on the journey with you. Yes. And that really, because that determines the journey you actually take. It even determines your destination. Like it's, it's, it's powerful. beyond powerful. Like so who that's is going why, with you? That's why, why not be intentional with who you spend time with and how much time you spend with the different who's in your life. Right. Cause it's not about saying no time with a lot of people. A lot of people you still want some time with. It's Mm -hmm. just maybe let, so my kids, for example, through COVID, we couldn't spend a lot of time with them. And that was really hard. And when we walked through COVID and came out the other side, it was actually with some of the grandkids, it was for a period of time, really awkward. Like Mm -hmm. they didn't know who we were. They had grown up. So so, purposely spending time with them to reconnect, right? That was on purpose, spend more time. Right. Like even just the other night, the mom and dad invited me for dinner and they forgot they had somewhere to be. So by the time I was going to go visit them, you were at a real estate conference, which was great. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I missed you, but it was good. (laughs) And so I was going to go spend dinner with them. And then I was told, oh, oops, messed up. We've got a charity event to go to. We both forgot, but we remember now. So we're going. You don't have to come. And I went, oh, yes, I do, actually. There's going to be three of your five kids at home. And if I deliberately go, it's a time of connection. It's a time of building. There are people I want to intentionally Hmm. invest more time with. And so I went and boy, did we laugh? Did we, how old did we have a great time? Right. And it, it's not on social media. I took pictures, but they're not there because it wasn't for that purpose. Sometimes I put stuff out there, but a lot of times it's about what life of I'm choosing to live off camera. Hmm. It could be seen on camera, but it's not necessary because it was about the connection. Yeah, most friendships are. There might be the odd superficial one where they go, oh, look who I was with. Yeah. And they want a picture, but then that's probably not a true friendship, right? Well, yeah, I guess I'm thinking of one particular friend where I would say she has very true friendships and there's going to be a post of every single person that she's ever with. She still holds them dear, but she also wants to be seen in the world of... Yeah, well, that's not quite what I meant. I meant like they're posting because of who they're with. Right. Not that they're with somebody. Right. So increase or decrease time. Right. So increase, obviously, because they support who you're being. They're maybe your cheerleader. They they uh, encourage you. You feel uplifted after spending time with them. 
Can I just pause you for a minute? Yes. You, you know I will. will yeah. I know, right? Is It's a two-sided thing. Like, I know you're putting the context of yourself and you're speaking to the person that is watching or is listening mm -hmm. and saying, hey, if they don't serve, you don't do it. But mutually, I think it's worth noting that it's a two-way street. Yeah. Like, it. Yeah, but it's when you're doing this both decision, ways. you can't do it with your friends. You have to do it independently. You do have to do it independently. And, and some, you know, some maybe they've grown more than you, and so you don't really fit quite as much as you used to. Or maybe you're growing, or you're still in the expansion mode, or you're you're working, and they've retired and they're in relax mode or whatever. And so maybe I'm going to spend less time with them because right. we're just not on the same. We're not in the same chapter of our life. I was going to say same page, probably similar page, but different chapters of your mm -hmm. life. So that friendship will naturally slow down or should naturally slow down. Right. And what just comes to mind right now is the book that we just wrote that we haven't even put out there in the world yet. It's not there, but we would be remiss if we didn't say, if you want like one of the first copies that gets out, if you want on the advanced list, you're going to want to email us at together at deckerteam.com, just the word together at deckerteam.com and just say, keep me in the loop on the book. Keep me in the loop on mm -hmm. the book. And the book is called Life X. And it's really a lot of the conversations we have on Life's Inside Track are also reflected inside the book. I mean, they're different. It's said differently. It's a book, not a conversation. And yet it's the same type of conversation. Well, actually, we can go into more depth, actually, in the book yeah. on living a life exponential. It's a word we coined, Life X. It's life to the power X. Right. exponential life right. and so there'll be more level. about friendships in there but not yeah. everything's in there but there is a good piece there to connect about and so as you're choosing who to spend more time with what are some of those factors that you're considering beyond do they support me and do i support well, them what's my thought life like when i'm with them mm. do i am i more creative it might even be like you like to paint, but you like to paint with company, or you like to read poetry or, te or write poetry, or you like to improv. It's always fun to do it. You know, you wrote, you took a class on writing your memoirs, right? Yeah. And you took it with a friend because it's always fun to have a friend when you're having a new experience. Right. So choosing friends based on the experiences that you want to have mm -hmm. and or spending more time with them based on shared experience. Yep. And if they like, you know, walking, maybe you're going to walk and talk. That's going to be what, and the, it's twofold, right? You get to talk, you get to walk, and you get the, the health benefit of being active. Which is so necessary, right? Mm -hmm. And so what are you going <clears> to <throat> challenge people to do? Well, I'm going to challenge them to take 30 minutes. 30 whole minutes, 30 minutes. out of their 1440 today? Yes. Because if you don't do it today, you know you're not going to do it, right? Turn off your cell phones. Mm -hmm. Like, lock yourself in a room. It's going to be a little scary <laughs> for 30 minutes and build a vision of the coming period, whether that be a year from now, two years from now. Who do you want to spend more time with? Why and how are you going to make it happen? Mm, well, how are you going to make it happen? You don't have to know the whole how, but you have to have a sense because if there's nothing to tie you together, it's not going to happen. Right. So we're honored to be on this journey with you of building wealth through real estate and having a life exponential. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.